Hey, I'm Josh. And I'm Anthony. And this is Red Hat Garage. We're automotive enthusiasts who buy, revive, fix, sometimes break, anything we can find with an engine. Okay, so this is uh, our new shop truck. Yeah. A 1983 Ford F-150. Uh, got a little bit of rust on there. Uh, Gibby's Garage, apparently he just decided he wanted to put a, gra a fake name on the side. Do we? He chose that, he did a stencil and everything. Do we know if it's from Arizona? No, uh, he was originally from Arizona, so I'm not sure if this truck's from there or not. Okay, because I oh, see the Arizona know. plate on the front of it. But too. he did repaint it and he was trying to do a patina look on it. So you see, like, this was on purpose, like some of this rust. Oh, okay. So it's a lot nicer than you actually expect. Oh, it's a manual. Oh, uh, he converted it. Oh. He, yeah, it was a column he said, Screw on it. Auto. He, threw, uh, he told me he threw a manual in it and it has the granny gear. So it oh, should be dude, a good tow rig. We, we lucked out. It was already worth it. Yep. He looked like a jack. Oh, really? <laughs> Nice <laughs> and uh, AC unit and some uh, a bunch of jugs, random of jugs. Get Sweet, check all this and some scrap paid for itself. Oh, hey, there's uh, Camaro rims. <laughs> You're just talking about it. It's a big deal in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it was worth it. It was an AOD truck. Uh -huh. Does it actually have a tow cap on it? Yeah, it does. I mean, up there, it's old style like circle ones. Oh, I should probably Got, uh, quite a bit of uh, weight loss here in this. Yeah, good. Fender here, or the wheel well anyway, in the back of the bed. Cab corners were a little rusted, dual tank. but it's a dual tank truck, long bed, They're so you can there. put some sheets to work. Of, you know, plywood in it. Well, I guess uh, let's clear this off and. Yeah. Uh, well, you did that. I want to pop the hood. It was the 80s. I think you just. No, nope, they're in the cab. Is it a cab for the 80s? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, I even looked at the interior. Yeah, not Come too bad. Here. Yeah, go over there. Look at that while I clean this up. Take a look at it real quick. Okay, so uh, the seats are horrible. I got some uh, booty wear over here. Uh, pretty clean manual keys. Uh, it's pretty nice interior, to be honest with you. Hemp liner's not sagging too much. Oh, yeah. oh God, the A-Track. Hell yeah. <laughs> and uh, has, a, has a fancy dash everything. And hey, there we go. Our right, lever. Yep. There so it is. let's see what uh what mysteries are under the hood on this thing. I think he said it was a three hundred two. The three hundred two there or something. No, it's a Japanese. I see you. Where are you? First Three of all, years learn later. Learn how to figure out how to open a hood. On this thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. there it is. Sure. That feels like a lever right there. We don't know what we're doing. That's. That has to be. Spill out right there. It's not yeah, that. it's right there. It's just, dude, it's really, really rusty. Give the finger strength in here. I might be a son of a gun. I, it's depressed. It ain't moving. Same. <laughs> well, I knew you had to go from underneath. Oh, it's a push down. Oh. Ooh, summit. Oh, it's got a high rise on it. Yep. There's a high rise. Uh, it, oh, is that an AC? Yeah, it's an AC. I doubt truck. she works, but uh, if she does, that's awesome. You got some PP juice for the windshield. These don't. Things look good. It's supposed to be a run truck. This has been replaced recently. So is the water pump, on the other hoses and clamps. So I wonder, did he rebuild it? Oh, uh, probably. It's got looks like aftermarket valve covers on it, aftermarket intake, carburetor. So it's got some work done to it too. Yeah. Cool. Apparently, uh, they drove it recently. Uh, he wasn't happy. They're trying to tow a boat with it. It didn't do a good job. He said, screw it. I'm going to sell it now. And uh, I got to buy it. So <laughs> it's ours now. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, it was fuel injected, too. Uh, 83, I think it would have been, yeah. Yeah, it was had some we cut off that line. Moisture underneath the battery, but. <laughs> That's fine. Well, let's go ahead while you put the battery in. Check and make sure anything's smoking or smells funny when you do it. Smells great. 
I don't hear nothing. Um, it's probably good. Yeah, it's in the ignition. All right, cool. I don't know. I'm just going to fire well, it up. One sec well, wait a second. Let's check the oil real quick, actually. Well, I guess we could. Yeah, we might as well. Well, it smells like there's gas in it, and it's a little low, but... Give me your finger. No! Get away from me. I see it on your finger. I don't need to touch it. <laughs> the oil looks really, really bad. Yeah, it probably needs an oil change. And there's stuff in it, and I don't know what it is. Character. Stop walking. I don't have my gloves on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this it needs an oil change badly. Yeah. Like. Well. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it doesn't feel metallic, but it feels almost like carbon buildup from really, really old oil. Doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell like it's burnt or nothing. It smells like a little bit of gas is in it, but. You're at home, run some uh, sea foam through it, yeah, it's, and then drain it's, it all. It's pretty gross. Cool. It's really gross. Well, I'm firing it. <laughs> I work enough to try to start it. Let me put this in real quick. So it doesn't start pushing it out of the tube. All right. Are you okay in there? I'm just kind of going through the gears. Just put it in neutral. That's typically what you do. I was trying to make sure I had all the gears before I mess with it. <laughs> Cranks. Yeah, it does. That battery's low. Well. I thought you charged it. I did. Wait a second. Did you do what we did with the C10 and boil it? I did not boil it. That's a good battery. <laughs> Doesn't uh, seem like it's good. You need to start. I want sour fluid. Some fire juice. Oh, yeah. How long has this been sitting for? We drove it within like a month or two. A month or two? Yeah, it has been sitting for like years, like what we usually bring home. So okay. I think a, a quick squirt, just enough to get it to fire, let the engine can pull some fuel in. All right, let's go grab that then. Yeah, go ahead. You want to turn off my truck too and bring the keys back? Oh, it's running. So, needs an oil change, something fierce. Yeah, this is Josh's good battery. Good news is, though, we have another one in the trailer for the winch, which is a Ford battery style, so it should work in case this one's bad. Bad news is, though, if we drain that one, then we're not getting anything onto the trailer. So, <laughs> Um, I 100% tell you right now with the way the oil is, yeah, we should Driver. not drive it. Yeah. I was thinking that that's like if you move it out of the yard enough to where we can get on the trailer, that should probably be okay, but we mm -hmm. should not drive it. Yeah, it's uh, the shoe squirt in there, fire up. You don't even need to take that off, you shouldn't. Oh, yeah, well, you should be able to spray it right through it. Yeah, where'd you put oh, there it is. Okay, there. go ahead and get in it. You ready, Dad? Yes, son. Okay. Dude, that battery's dead. I think the truck. Mm hmm. Yeah, the whole three cranks. I on the triple this morning. You're over here giving me crap about my boiled battery, which it did just as good. You're not you're even crank. <laughs> to two. That was the saddest spirit. thing. <laughs> Oh, that fits great. You don't have to worry about tightening it down. I was never going Let's to. Let them arc until they connect or melt. Yeah. Go um, oh there. Cool. Actually, you know what? I am going to take this off. Yeah. It's good. Well, come on. Oh, that's gone. It ain't mine. I ain't worried about it. There we go. I can I take it off. Oh, cool. I'm Camera guy coming in clutch. Look at that. tank.
Needs more? Are you kidding me? Go ahead. Uh, maybe I should just watch the other tank. This tank's, like, empty. Yeah, if it works. It's supposed to. I just don't know where the button is. It doesn't is. work. They never work. The gauge move? Mm, no. Let it idle. No. No. He okay. Died. Try it again. Try it. Give it a little bit of gas. Right there. Yeah, hold it. Let it warm up. Let it warm up a little bit and we're going to move it. It doesn't sound good. It sounds perfect. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and move it out of here. We don't want to run it this long with the oil that's in it. So... We'll come back for that other stuff. That's got sporty mirrors on it, too. Just noticed that. Pull it on the road. All right, yeah, we're not gonna run it as much as possible with the oil the way that it is. It does run, it sounds like it's got something wrong with it though. Hopefully it's just because it's low on oil or that's yeah. an exhaust ping that we hear. Definitely needs a tune up, but uh, it was running pretty good from the driver's perspective. Okay. Shifted fine, I got wearing the gear. No so we're, clutch. all right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead real quick. We're losing daylight. We're gonna load it up on the trailer. We're not even gonna take the chance of driving it then. I'm gonna blow up a good engine. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully not we can save video. it. Yeah, not in this. Video. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and we'll load it up cool. with the with the truck. Okay. All right, we got the truck ready, and yeah. we're gonna go ahead and load the the Ford up onto the trailer. Yep, gonna be safe. Trailer at home. And then do a tune up there. Yep, tune up, oil change, fluid check. It was low on radiator fluid too. Oh no. Yeah. Not radiator Ooh. fluid. And All right. uh, yeah, gotta you know. Yep. Line it up. Let's do it. All right. Well, the truck's on the trailer now. That was fun. Woo. Woohoo. All right, let's pack it up, and we're going to get on the road. The next time you see this, it will be daylight out once again, and we'll be going through it. Stay tuned. Well, we're back here on the 83 F-150. We tried to move it, get it over here, and the oil was pretty gross. So we decided to trailer it instead. Josh went out and got oil change for it. So we're gonna do that, see how bad the oil is, and go from there. Should have a five liter in it originally too. Yeah, this is, a, yeah. I actually uh, checked it in the five liter. It could be the original block, who knows? Might be. They could have just torn it all off and put the stuff out. I need to ask the guy. Sounds good. All right, get underneath this thing. Yeah, see some oily stuff. Get this, uh, get this going. Oil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Here, in my way. Okay. Oh, that's an 18. Hey. Is it? 16 or 18? 16 or 18. Those are the what, options. It's probably 21. What? <laughs> Time to get underneath there. Dude, give me an 18. 16 and 18. Where are you at? Here. Okay. I don't want to be underneath this. It's gross. Well, that's way back there. You know, it's actually not half bad. The rocker panels look nice. I think it's a 19. I swear to God. You have a 19, don't you? No, I hate, can't have here the 15. Where's the 19? You're missing both of them. No, uh, it's probably over there when I took Jeez, it off. Dead. What is that off of? <laughs> well, oh, that was off, off my tractor, wasn't it? What are you talking about? The oil filter oh, yeah. over here that's just that's sitting on the ground now? <laughs> yeah, it was in the thing. Oh my God, uh, where'd this come from? There you go. That's the most awkward way to give that to me. I mean, it's a 19. Wow. Good okay. enough. So, what is that? Yeah, like the first try. Oil. Get that sweet, sweet oil. 
Oh, that stuff's kind of gross. Is it chunky? It's oily. Okay, well, it doesn't it's look chunky good. yet. Oh. Wait for it. Waiting? Yeah. It's coming out fluid like, so. Yeah, there wasn't no water or nothing in it, looks like. No, I think it just, just needs some maintenance. No. A car that we bought that needs maintenance? Yeah. That's, that's unheard of. Unheard of. Brand new truck, what the hell? Let's see how chunky it is when it gets to the end. Well, there wasn't no chunks that come out of it, well, which surprising. was kind of surprising, given what the dipstick looked like. So, we're going to fill it up with more oil, we're going to put some sea foam in it, yep. let that circulate, and then we're going to do another oil change after a few hundred miles, yep. and then uh, put some uh, not cheap oil in it. Oh, shit, I think this little plastic thing broke. You mean the washer? Yeah, like a little plastic washer on it. What the heck? Why would you have a plastic? Isn't that supposed to be really, copper? Yeah. Oh, there was a brass. Also, there was also brass. Was yeah, a, put that on. That shouldn't be on there. Yeah, because as soon as I lightly, there was like, crack, I was like, what the? Well, there's nothing to crack. Oh. There's a little plastic. That's weird. Yeah, no. So I shouldn't have that on there. We're not going to do that. We're just going to use the. You're going to clean it off. Yeah. Let me go grab some uh, actual cleaner. Where what kind of oil filter that Porsche? <laughs> You're killing me! <laughs> I actually sprayed it at him. All the fumes are going at my face! I know you. Yeah! yeah. You can do it. Fit. Oh, I've never actually successfully used that tool before. Huh? Never actually oh, there used you go. They work? Right off. Yeah. Cool. Sweet! Um, so that one move the uh, pan underneath it. Mm. Yeah, pan, pan do. Oh no, I'm gonna change the tune up. Start with tune up. Oh, regular maintenance. Yeah, maintenance yeah, is tune up. Tune up, no. Tune up, sorry, maintenance. Oh, you uh, do it regularly though. Yeah, every, no, you don't do it. So? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, once every few years. Well, there you go. It's <laughs> what? Not a tune <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. What? No. Always have it. No. It's my oldest funnel. No. Put, no. Put the other one. That one won't leak. <laughs> that one won't leak either. This one's going to leak like a... You don't have a belt today. Just don't fill up that one. Yeah, exactly. We're good. That one's going to leak. Really good. Okay. So that should be plenty tight. You don't want to over tighten them, but it's no. tight. So, here we go. A quarter an hour. You are right. Oh, oh boy, this is gonna take a minute. Yep. Look it. No. no. <laughs> That's for our other channel. What? <laughs> Only trucks. Only. <laughs> oh. Go check to see if that thing's leaking. I hope so. I hope so. What? It's leaking. That means it got oil. Yeah, that's good. Cool. All right. Should be good. How are you going to know how much? Is it 12 ounces or something? 20? 20 fluid ounces. So you're going to add like a quarter of the can. Oh. Ah, good enough. Send it. Hopefully. We're good. That's good enough. All right. Some in the gas tank. Yep. Did you put gas in this? Nope. It has gas. Now let's start it. Starting. Um, normally when you start it, you take it out of gear. It was in gear. Don't do that. It's for you. Okay, so we got the truck in the garage finally. Had to put a 
extra, another battery in there for realize it has poor connections and that's all stuff for another time. But right now, you see we got this Gibby's Garage logo. You break them, we fix them. Something Arizona. Uh, we're not in Arizona. I don't know who Gibby is. So I'm going to get this logo off there. So I think the goal today is I'm going to take my handy dandy palm sander with 320 grit. We're going to see if I can just sand it down a bit. You want to come in here a little closer. You can see there's a little bit of a lip on the paint that was here. And so I want that flat because I have a new logo that's going to go over top of this. But I don't want this old one popping through. So I'm going to try to get this as flat as possible. And not damage the paint that bad because I don't want to fix or repaint it. So hopefully that goes well. We'll see how it goes. So I guess I probably should turn the air on if I want this to work, huh? <laughs> Got air. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully this ain't too aggressive. <coughs> oh, that's working perfect. <coughs> to remove it fully just to knock it down flat. Oh, you can see the, the stencil for when you originally did it. <laughs> now I gotta be careful on doing this because I have to make sure I don't go past the thing. There's a new detail I got to go over this, I don't want that to do paint correction faster, so I want all my sanding marks to be underneath the new decal. I also got to make sure I don't eat through the paint, so that way the paint's not productive and rust through, so. Thankfully this wasn't that hard on there. You can see it kind of coming off, going smooth. So I think we're in a good shape, and this ain't going to be too bad. <laughs> Pretty happy with those results. We'll try not to take the presser, we'll pop it in. So, as you see, the the old Gibby's Garage decal is gone. And it turned out pretty well. I was actually didn't expect to have that decent results. So, if you didn't catch what I did, I just used a little cheap orbital sander. I got this off Amazon for like $30 to $50. I forgot, but it had good ratings. Uh, Yep, just put it on there, you saw it happen. Sand it off, it didn't go through the paint or enough where I care about. So I'm gonna wipe it down and then we're gonna put the, our new decal on here. So I'm gonna do that right now. Got a little soapy water, spritz in it. I don't want any of the sand from what we just did to be on there. I'm gonna wipe that down. Oh yeah, now you can actually see it a little better. But you see the outline, but it's all nice and flat. So I should not see that through what we have to put on here. restoration right <laughs> like brand new no I'm actually really excited to paint and buff this truck not paint this is actually a good time to power wash and actually detail this truck I think it's gonna clean up a lot nicer than I originally thought can't get that back <laughs> so I got some wax and tar remover which I use for like paint before I paint and lay stuff down I think it's perfect for a big decal you want to make sure this is as clean as possible so you get as much adhesion as possible on the new decal because I would not want to start to see that's got a little bit better you can still get more sand than I did with just the water on the first pass okay I guess it's now it's time to reveal the our new decals so as I made it clear, we're not Gibby's Garage, we are Redhead Garage. So we're going to put this decal right on this truck and 
this will be the official shop truck. So I bought these, I think I got these from decals.com, and they turned out pretty well in the, with our logo and stuff. So I should probably measure, find the center point of that, because I got to recreate this on both sides. So. So it's not pre-cut and I don't need all that excess. I just want the oval. So we're gonna play a game I like to call Keep Inside the Lines. I'm nervous with you all watching me. Are you stressed right now? Yeah, because I don't want to fuck this up. Okay, that's where it's going. <laughs> so I grabbed a Bondo spreader that I have to help me smooth this out. To help make sure there's no air bubbles. Thankfully this is a pretty thick decal, so it's not too bad. So you want to make sure you don't have any air bubbles in it. I think this is a nice thick decal, so it comes on. It's on pretty decent. Just hope it doesn't go on. I think it might be crooked. Anthony's gonna make fun of me. <laughs> okay, so you guys see that wasn't that bad. Here's our new decal. It's a little too clean. <laughs> that is the nicest thing on the truck right now. <laughs> uh, so, I don't need that in my hand. <laughs> okay, so we got the decal on, and I think uh, my satisfaction rating is about 7 to 10 out of this. 7 to 10? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 is how I kind of feel about it. Uh, I think the only thing I have against it is that it's too clean compared to the rest of this truck. So I'm going to have to find a way to shine this up a bit and make it match that decal. So I think I have a trick, or not a trick, an idea of what I can do to make this look a little uh, more put together, a little less rusty, a little bit more trusty. <laughs> ah, I'm so funny. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you've seen, maybe like, comment, or subscribe for more hot content.